So I've been covering a story about a wedding photographer that went viral for deleting someone's wedding pictures in front of them because they were denied a break, food, and water. If you aren't caught up with the story, I'll have all the links down below. The first part is just the basis of the story. Part two is some missing information. And then part three, which is this one, is the finale, I guess. Uh, the OP has posted yet again on Reddit with an update to the story. So we're going to be taking a look at that right now. I previously made a post you can find here and want to provide an update. This is a throwaway account, so I'm sorry for not replying to every DM, but I hope this answers many of the questions people had. Immediately after the wedding, they went off for their honeymoon. They went to a cottage up north and didn't use social media for a week. In that time, they got lots of requests for photos on Facebook and I didn't reply to anyone because to me, this was done and I didn't want the headache of dealing with the fallback. I don't know a lot of these people. It's their circle of friends, so I thought it was best they handled it. Okay, I think that's, I mean, what, what more can you do in that situation? I think the OP just wanted it over with. The pictures got deleted, it's done, like she wants to move on with her life. It is tricky because the first thing that happens after a wedding is over is people want to see the pictures. Especially clients, they always message me, hey, do you have any previews? Is there anything that we can post? People get really excited. I love it. I live for that. I love sending them pictures the day after their event so that they can post them and show everyone. So I can understand the excitement of the guests and what kind of position the OP was in when people are asking and little do they know the picture, the JPEGs got deleted. The bride contacted me when they returned and asked me my side of the story. Oh, this is a plot twist. Okay, you know what though, that's good because the OP said that they were friends with the bride first and foremost. So I'm really glad that the bride reached out, but did she, did she know about this? Let's see. I don't know when the groom spilled the beans, but he wasn't truthful about it. He told her I had camera problems and lost the photos. I told her plainly what happened and told her that I felt guilty. It's that while I felt guilty, it's no way to treat someone doing them a favor. She wasn't in the know about any of this and asked if there was any way we could mend this. Stop. So he lied camera problems and lost the photos. I mean, you're right. The photos got lost, but they they were voluntarily lost. If you know what I mean, they were they were intentionally lost into the trash can. So I don't know what like did did he think that this that the bride is just going to be like, oh, OK, the, yeah, the, OK, the pictures got lost. Thank you for the there's no way because I'm telling you how important wedding photos are, especially to the bride. Family, her family is going to want to see these pictures. People are going to be asking her. That's the first thing they're going to be asking her about. So there's no way that she would. I mean, maybe she would believe him, but th this is crazy. This is crazy that he would lie. Why would you do this is not a good way to start off the, the marriage process. You know, they just did the wedding and then you're over here. You're putting the blame on the friend. You're literally trying to cause more problems between her and her friend, which is crazy. I can't believe he's trying to throw her under the bus. And someone who's supposed to be friends with his wife, no less. We got to talking and I've agreed to do a reshoot for some photos later in the season. Okay, but why Why would she want to put herself back in that situation? Why would the, the person who did the photography, who went through all this, why would she want to... If I were her, I would just not want to even be involved with that anymore. Mm, that's just me. If the groom was sitting there saying that the photographer had camera problems and she allegedly lost the photos, why would you want to do a reshoot with that same photographer? Live your life, I guess. I don't know. I couldn't. She wants some photos of just them in an outdoor shoot, photos of the rings, some artsy fartsy shots, and that's it. She offered me the original $250 and I agreed under the condition I bail at word one, cr one of crap from either of them. What? Why? This seems like a terrible idea. And you're putting yourself back in the situation that you found yourself in that didn't work out in the, the first place. You don't do professional photography. You don't know what's going to happen during this reshoot. Again, they may not like the pictures. The groom may be acting towards you a certain way. It's going to be an awkward, uncomfortable atmosphere. 
why put yourself in that position again 250 dollars i love how they she's like they offered me the original 250 dollars like as if th that's still not enough if you think about it this photographer already shot and worked the wedding day didn't get paid for it and then now she's doing this whole new reshoot for 250 dollars but that she was supposed to already get paid for the very first time she worked but she didn't so now she's doing another session for them after they declined to pay her and the groom didn't give her a break like it it doesn't seem like a recipe for success is what i'm saying the fact that she had to have a condition that she would bail at one word of crap talking from the couple just says it all if you can't have just the basic respect for someone without making it a condition otherwise you'll leave then i feel like it's a it's a fail to begin with you shouldn't be doing it I don't know if it were me i wouldn't do it but what about you guys what do you guys think would you if this were you would you agree to do the reshoot as for the original photos i offered to bring my sd card to a place that could attempt to recover them but at their cost and she declined that is really interesting i feel like if it were anyone else they would want the pictures from their wedding even though it meant that they would have to pay a fee i don't think that they would have charged too much money for sd card retrieval something about this story is just I don't know. Word did get out on social media about some of this and we agreed to sweep it under the rug and try to diffuse or play down what happened. Of the few comments I did read, they were wholly against me because the story is twisted with the her camera died narrative the groom spun. I'm upset but not enough to make a big deal out of it. None of them even know my name. We agreed to sweep it under the rug. Ah, uh, I think it's too late for that. I think this is one of the bigger stories about photographers that I've that I've seen. We're forgetting the groom is the one who twisted the story and said that her camera died, basically lied, aka lying, lied about this whole situation to his wife, who then confronted her friend who had to clear up the story, aka the lie that her husband told why would you why would you involve yourself in this situation again with someone who threw you under the buzz i did make two interesting connections though the dj was privy to the situation he was the person i vented to originally and he asked if i'd shoot their band at an upcoming event additionally the minister asked if i'd like to shoot some promotional images of his church and choir not sure if I'm cut out for anything but pet stuff, but it's nice that, that I've got something out of this ordeal at least. But but do but do you though? Because but let me tell you why this seems like you're gonna get yourself into even more of a mess. You're essentially working for these people. Like they're asking the guy asked you to shoot his band. I would have a contract ready. I would have packages ready. Do you like think about things that you're gonna need extra batteries if your camera actually ends up dying maybe you'll need some extra lighting maybe you'll need a flash a tripod with the, maybe you want a softbox you're gonna need all those things what about lenses when you're shooting a band and you maybe want a wide angle lens or maybe you want a portrait lens for when you shoot the minister's choir for individual people like you're gonna need an arsenal of equipment to be able to successfully handle these projects that are coming your way and I feel like when you accept jobs like this, again, I said this in the last video that you are not qualified for, you're doing a disservice to yourself and to those who hire you for the job. Also, it's great to have a contract because if the groom has any problem with that or the bride before you even book them, then you can be like, sorry, like it's in my agreement. And if you don't want to, you can't agree to that, then I'm, we can't work with each other. And then you can avoid the situation altogether. So again, but again, a contract is something that a pro photographer would have because they deal with a lot of clients and they have their own guidelines and the ways of, that they do things. So at least if the OP is going to go down this road, at least have a contract or an agreement of some kind. And I would definitely have it in writing 1000%. Yeah, a lot of people seem really disappointed in the update. And honestly, they're saying the same thing that I'm thinking. Like, why would you go back to work with them for the $250 that you that the per, the OP claimed was too little? Like, why would you go back and do that? And you didn't even get paid the first time. Something about this story, I don't know. The fact that the bride didn't want to save the pictures. 
of her wedding day. Because you can recover the photos. Why? Why wouldn't? Like, that's the one thing about the story that just doesn't seem right. I don't know. I'm not doubting the story by any means. It, it's, it seems very odd to me. That's, that's what I'll say. The person who agreed to do the reshoot doesn't have the same energy as the one who deleted wedding pictures in front of the client on their wedding day. <laughs> and then the fat, like, I love how she's like, oh, they're offering me the 250. Or, remember that original amount? That's not a good thing, though. They're scamming you once again. They're taking advantage a second time. I'm telling you. At least try to recover the monetary loss that you had during the wedding that you that the photographer claimed was too little and that they regretted doing in the first place just saying like cover your losses there at least add on the 250 that you should have been paid and then get paid for the reshoot plus the wedding that you already worked i don't think you're asking for too much so um a little disappointed by the update i'm not gonna lie i didn't know that it was gonna turn out like that it's really w not what i expected and don't forget, if someone asks you to do a photo shoot and you're not a professional photographer, just say no. Just tell them, hey, my cat's giving birth tomorrow. Actually, I can't. I can't do it. She needs me there for support. It's nice that this person wants to take the high road and mend things. I think that's great. But you need to have boundaries. And you, we need to learn from our experiences. Because we don't want bad experiences to happen all over again.